Okay, whatever number this is, four or something, for those of you who are following me down the rabbit hole to try to fix this stuff or replace your switch. Um, these wire harnesses right here um, are probably attached with clips on your car. Seems mine were already undone. Um, you've also got uh, vacuum lines. You got vacuum line that has to be undone here. This one that attaches to the front of the exhaust. It hooks up over here. I got that one undone and swung out the way. Like I said, this vacuum line and also this one that uh, I can't remember what these little vacuum things are called. They have a strange name, but that one just tucked it kind of out of the way here. Then at this big metal, uh, yellow metal bracket, there's a little eight millimeter bolt right at the top. And right behind this little hose here, there's a little eight millimeter bolt. Can't really see where it goes, but right there, I promise. Uh, this 10 millimeter one right above it, that's not the one you want. Just that eight on the bottom and that eight on the top is all I had to do to get it loose. Up at this corner, there's one little ground strap right here that's hooked up. So I'm gonna undo that real quick um, to get this whole bracket out of the way. And you can see though, once this bracket is going to be out of the way boom there's your jacked up switch there's your broken piece of plastic um everything's going to be right there so uh i don't even know what this switch is called so i'm going to take mine off and see if i can uh you know put some shrink wrap around that uh exposed wire there um do the little bit that i was told about where you uh undo this first screw leave the second one in bend it up so that it's kind of facing straight down instead of at an angle and then that'll allow even though that piece of plastic is busted once it's at that angle it'll still hit this switch so i'm not gonna make a video of that you guys pretty much get it if you're this deep into working on your car i'm sure you understand mechanically so Hopefully this is helping you guys out though. Um, I, I just do it because I can never find videos for the CX-7 because they're kind of rare. Um, but from my research, it looks like this setup is very similar on a lot of Mazdas. So, uh, dope. I hope this, uh, this works fixes my problem and I hope this stuff fixes your guys' problems too. Like I said, I just do it because uh, I hate it when I can't you know find information on stuff so i'm just trying to share um what i'm learning as i go uh if you want to like the video or i guess subscribe is what everybody says I, i'm not worried about it but you can try to send me a message I'm not crazy into the internet stuff so i don't know you're probably better off just emailing me um hopefully this doesn't mess me up but rich dog two g's 4204 at gmail.com richdog2gs4204 at gmail.com if you guys want me to show you uh, anything specific or try to fix something on the car that you are having trouble with so let me know again sorry to make you guys jealous that I just piped my garage in with compressed air got two inlets there got the roll here got the sandblaster out back you're jealous see ya